it's been an unsettling episode that has cast the NHS in a non-too-flattering light. And though the off-on saga of surgery at the children's unit seems finally to have been settled, for the time being at least, it's highlighted deep divisions of opinion. Take the very different stories of two individuals with similar experiences. This is Michelle from South Yorkshire, whose daughter Jessica was a patient at the unit. I think anybody whose child is waiting for surgery now has to think long and hard, is this the best place for my child to have surgery? Is there enough expertise here? Is there enough backup here if anything could go wrong? This is Bob Ward from Leeds, whose grandson Lyle has also been a patient at the heart unit. It's a wonderful unit. The staff there are exceptional. The surgeons and the cardiologists and the anaesthetists are exceptional. And they have given such good service to our family and to hundreds of other families. And then there are the conflicting statements of a national children's heart charity and the hospital's own trust. The trust's chief executive says, I'm extremely confident that this service is safe and effective and should recommence at the earliest opportunity. The chief executive of the charity says parents critical of the unit have been threatened. There have certainly been all sorts of threats, she says, and we have been advising some of those parents to share the threats with the police. Few would deny that this has degenerated into a political and PR battle with the NHS nationally wanting to close the unit and the NHS locally wanting to keep it open. It's left politicians demanding to know how the situation ever arose in the first place and patients groups arguing about what should happen next. And that's not the end of it. A decision on the heart unit's long-term future won't be made until the summer, leaving patients and their families in limbo again.